Hey everybody, Matt here. Um, I'm going to show you today how to uh, get ROMs and other uh, for your emulators on the Wii, whether it be uh, for Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, the original Nintendo, PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Well, I don't know about PlayStation 2. It does have PlayStation. I'm going to show you how to get those and how to get them onto your Wii. Because um, a lot, I mean, I think it's, it's really simple once you know what you're doing. You know, once you got down pat, there's still some people, you know, at first, if you don't know what you're doing, it's really confusing. So hopefully this video will help. Really what you're going to have to do is um, open up the Internet. Um, and I must tell you, before I would even start, you have to have the Homebrew channel installed on your Wii. Um, I'm not going to be able to do a video on how to do that, so just look up some videos here on YouTube and find out how to get the Homebrew channel on your Wii and go from there. Okay, so what you're going to have to have for sure is an SD card, a uh, blank, unless, uh, well, unless it has all the stuff for the Homebrew channel, but other than that, it needs to be blank. Um, make sure it has plenty of room. Uh, for you know files and it won't fill up too quick. Uh, so anyway, what you're gonna do is there's this website. You can look up you know several different websites, uh, but one of my favorites, one I always use, is called uh, cool, or CoolRom.com. And it's on my bookmark, so I'm gonna click on that. And it takes you here to the website, and. Um, what you do is you can download emulators from here. I'm not exactly sure how to download them and get them onto the Wii from here, the emulator, um, because I tried and I can't get it. Uh, but if you get the uh, homebrew channel, which, like I said, you'll have to have, you can go to the Wii, I mean, to the uh, the browser on the homebrew channel and get emulators from there. But to get ROM files, which is pretty much just games, uh, ROM is the video games, emulator is the game system. The ROM file are the other games that you get. So I'm going to show you. Let's just go uh, with uh, Super Nintendo. What I found Super Nintendo, which is way at the bottom. So you Super Nintendo, you click on that. And then um, you'll get this and have an alphabetical order. A whole bunch of games that you can. This is just for A. Uh, you can, you know get any of these. So uh, let's just, I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, let's go and see what's on S. Just pick a random one on S. I'm going to go for Mario. They have a Mario game on here, I hope. Um, okay, you just scroll down until you find a game. Any game, just find any game you want. Find a game you want to uh, download. And, well, let's see. a whole bunch of games on here, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Super Mario Kart. Let's just go with Super Mario Kart. Oh, no, that's Super Mario World right there. Okay, Super Mario World. That's the game I want. Um, so you click on it. And you can see the screenshot right here. This is the game. And it says you may click the button below to download your file. It's going to say, please wait. It will appear in nine, uh, ten seconds. Just wait it out. I mean, you're getting a free game here. You're going to even have to pay for it. So don't really complain about 10 seconds. I wouldn't. Okay, now that it says download your file, you just click on that. At this point, you should already have your SD card uh, in your computer laptop. Whoops, I don't know what that means. Okay, and it will say you have chosen to open Super Mario World. Go to save file. And it will be downloaded, and it's a zip file. So just go to open containing folder. This is what I do. I don't know if this is, I mean, there's other ways to do it, but this is the way I'm going to do it. And we got Super Mario World. I already downloaded one, so there's a two right there. Um, 
so you need to go to my computer and just get your uh, just get the uh, the flash or the SD card. And these are all the files that I already have on here from other games. But uh, all you need to do is copy it. Just click it. Super Mario World. Drag it over. No, whoops, that is wrong. <laughs> you need to download, first of all, you have to download the um, emulator for the Super Nintendo. Make sure you do that for sure. And this is the one for the Super Nintendo right here. And then, Super Mario World's already here from what I did earlier. So, you know, that's all I did. You drag it over. And it copies over. It's probably not showing up on mine because I already have it on here once. And now, it's copied on there. And now I gotta do is take out your SD card and put it in your Wii console. And when you go onto the Wii console, you go to the Homebrew channel, which, like I said, you have to have installed before. You might as well just have it installed before you even start this. And you go to the Homebrew channel, then you uh, go and you find the Super Nintendo emulator on there. You click on it, and you should all go ahead and have Super Mario World on there. And I don't know if every single game that you'll find on here works, but I know for a fact Super Mario World does. Um, I tried to, um, download, uh, 007 Goldeneye for the Nintendo 64, and that game did not work, but I know for a fact Super Mario World does, Scooby-Doo does, Super Mario Kart works, I know that for a fact. And when you, uh, go to the Super Nintendo emulator, you have to, uh, it just, you click on it, and the list of the game should be there. It should just say Super Mario World, you click on it, and it will start up, and you can play it. And you can play it with a regular Wii remote, or you can play it with a classic remote, or a GameCube remote. Uh, it's a lot easier with a regular remote, in my opinion. Just a regular Wii remote. And that is how you download ROMs, aka games, free games, for your Wii on the Homebrew channel. And like I said, you can get for any of these. I mean, you have Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Neo Geo, N64, regular Nintendo, DS, Sega, um, all those. You know, PlayStation. That's just how you do it. It's simple. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. And I hope this video helps you out. Um, it definitely uh, helped me out when I looked at videos on YouTube. That's how I found out how to do everything with the Homebrew channel and getting uh, games on my emulator. So hopefully this one help you out just like the others have helped me out. Like I said, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.